Aisha is a place to connect to ourselves, to each other, to the Jewish people, and to God. When my kids walk into the Shalom School, I know they are loved. Our children are being taught to be ambassadors for the Jewish people by the entire community. I came to H. Denver for Rosh Hashanah, and it was such a profound experience. I knew that my life was forever changed. I came to Denver 27 years ago, had an outreach center with Yeshiva Taras Chaim. At the end of 1995, I created an independent outreach organization and in December of 2000 joined forces with Eshat Torah International because they're the greatest outreach organization in the world. When I first met Rabbi Meyer, he was a very young man, but wise beyond his years. He has a tremendous ability to understand people and how they need to grow and what will help them in that regard. Five years ago, I got very lucky and I was led to this community that was open and warm and welcoming. H. Denver really strives to be a place where all Jews will feel welcome, where everybody will find an entry point that they can learn, that they can grow, that they can feel excited about being Jewish. My husband and I were looking for spiritual guidance for our family. Somebody recommended that we call Rabbi Meyer. It was just before Rosh Hashanah, and we absolutely were not sure. But we said, okay, we'll try. We'll go for an hour. We stayed for two days. And we walked out as family. Do you know what it's like to be in a community where everyone has your best interest at heart? To walk in from the chaos of the world and to know that there are people there that are gonna have your back? It's important to me and important to all those at H. Denver that Jews that walk in our doors feel welcomed and embraced. I was a single woman for many years. I was embraced by the community. I spent many hours in the Meyer home. And I often looked around at his home and his wife and his amazing family. And I said, this is what I want. Behind every great rabbi is a great Rebetzin. Chaya Meyer has built H. Denver one Shabbos dinner and lunch at a time. At H. Denver, there is something for everyone. I learned how to be a better son. I learned to honor my parents here. I learned to be a better husband here. My husband and I feel so fortunate to have the outreach that the shul offers. Anyone can come, there's classes every day of the week through one-on-ones with the rabbis meeting with the Rebetzins, with Rabbi Meyer. Even on Shabbos, you can come take a class. The first class I went to was a 48 Ways for Wisdom, and it changed my life. It doesn't matter where they come from, how observant they are, what their philosophies are. If they're looking for a possibility and an opening and an opportunity to grow, they'll find it here at H. Denver. I love teaching at Shalom School. I have the youngest class, the little four and five year olds, and I just enjoy telling them stories and seeing the expressions on their faces and just interacting with them. It's the best. I have three children at the Shalom School at H. Denver. My daughter Ashley, who's 11 and a half, is about to be bat mitzvah this June, and I believe they are getting something at the Shalom School that they cannot get anywhere else in this city. After Ashley's bat mitzvah, she's planning on becoming a member of the tribe in the Mott Club, which is actually the teen club here. And my husband and I are thrilled. At H. Denver, we really wanted to have a Jewish preschool. What better way is there to introduce the young child to the love and the beauty of Judaism? The H. Denver Preschool is fantastic. It's the first time my son Chaim goes and he doesn't cry and I love it. He runs into class, he's happy to be there. They're warm and engaging and friendly. Our role as the Jewish people is to be a light unto the nations. Our role as individual Jews, I believe, is to be a light unto other Jews. Rabbi Meyer has taken on the philosophy from Reb Noach Weinberg to encourage people to take responsibility for the world 
And as a result of that, in being partners, we give more, we do more, and we are more than we ever thought we possibly could be. We have people who volunteer hours and hours and hours. They've changed their lives to give to H Denver to make sure other people will be able to benefit from their generosity, from their kindness, from their thoughtfulness, from their passion for the Jewish people. I really believe this is a place where your dreams can come true. I met my husband. We bought a house. We're expecting a baby. What more can you ask for? We are so blessed. At an early stage in life, somehow I felt that I wanted to always feel that the world would be a better place after I was gone from my having been there. You can be a light bulb or you can be a candle. Being a light bulb, when the light goes out, everything is gone. But if you could live your life as a candle, you can light other candles and in that way make a difference in people's lives for the better. The entirety of the Jewish people is really built on the concept of candles. It's built on the concept of one generation teaching the next. It's very important to Nanny and Saba for us to be a light to all of our community and family and friends and pass on the traditions that they have taught us. Herb Buckwald, my partner, the love of my life, has opened up a world to me that I never would have had without him. And I am lucky to have been married to her. We've been married 58 years. He likes to climb the highest mountain, and I like to keep my feet on the ground, waiting for him. When my last child was born, late in life, Herb was wheeling me into the delivery room. I did get a promise from Arlene that when Tracy gets to go to college, we would fly around the world. And I said to myself, don't worry, Arlene, this is never going to happen. And there I was, 18 years later, looking for signs of Jewish life in Tahiti. How many grandparents do you know that would travel around the world, not only flying their own airplane, but in search of Jewish life all over the world? Just to give you an idea of how important Judaism and Jewish life is to Saba, for his 70th birthday, he threw himself a party, and instead of a big bash, he brought the Discovery Weekend and seminar to his friends and family. And it made a difference in their lives. What more could I ask? You gotta live with a fire in your belly. You gotta live with passion if you wanna make a difference to your children, to your family, and to the Jewish people. Life has been very, very good to me. Hashem has blessed me and our family from the very, very beginning. As I was approaching my 80th year, I needed to do something that would mark another milestone. Rabbi Meyer has been an inspiration. It was so important for me to help Rabbi Meyer get a school so we could attract young children, light their candle, and become part of the Jewish community. Herb's desire to make a difference was truly the inspiration for this preschool. The most important thing I've learned from Nanny and Saba is to have a close-knit family, and family always comes first. I've watched Herb as he interfaces with his family, and he's set such a beautiful example for my family and in the community. Herb and Arlene have taught Chaya and myself the importance of family, the importance of making sure that you transmit to family and that you lead by example. By supporting Rabbi Meyer, by helping him and loving him, I am lighting the tallest candle so far. <laughs>